welcome back to the Born channel, it's Grace and I'm bringing you this look today. Um, it's kind of like a gorgeous winged out, smoky kind of brown look on the eye and then a really nice kind of vivid neon pink lip. So it's a bit more of an evening look. You could definitely kind of swap that pink lip for something a bit softer if you wanted to. Um, so with all that said, if you want to create this look or if you want to see how I created this look, um, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've done my brows and my eye primer um, off camera. I've just used my Painterly Pro Long Wear Paint Pot, which is what I normally use to prime my eyes. Um, and I'm gonna go in using the colors from the MAC Warm Neutrals palette. Um, I'm gonna start off by using this light shimmery tone here. And with this, I'm gonna apply this into the highlight areas. So I'm gonna go under the arch of my brow. which is just a nice fluffy brush. And I'm just going to place this right in the socket line. Picking up a tiny bit of product every time and building it up slowly. It's always easier to build than it is to take away. So if you pick up loads of product, go over the top of that. You can't take it away. Let's build it up softly. You have absolute control over the finish that you're going to get. Okay, and I'm just going to take a slightly smaller brush, and this is the My Kitco 1.14, which is just like a baby version. shadows out and barely picking up any product. Yeah, you don't need to worry too much about the shape underneath because we are going to come in with um, a little bit of cleanser and just sweep away. Okay, so we're going to go in with this colour next. This one here. And we're going to use this and the slightly smaller of the two brushes. in the outer corner and then just along the crease. And I'm just going to go back in with that first colour, that brown highlight colour. And I'm just going to come in and just blend back down again. And I'm going to go in with this colour here, which is like an off black. in my hand as I'm using them so it's really easy for me to just add and blend, add and blend. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of shimmer onto my eyelid now. So we're going to take this shadow here in the centre and I'm going to press that onto my eyelid. Really pressing it in, packing it on. And then again, just using that same brush, my Kiko brush. I'm going to do a little bit of extra sparkle. I'm going to use the Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner 
my collection and I love these, they're so so easy to use. A bit of extra glitter. And apply it just onto the very centre of my eyelid. I'm just gonna take a wet wipe. I'm just gonna clean up underneath the eye. Then we're also gonna clean the shape up into a wing. This is kind of like a little eyeliner hack. Because once you've done that, you can kind of follow that line with your liquid eyeliner or your gel eyeliner. Now is I'm going to go in with a gel eyeliner and I'm going to use the Illamasqua gel eyeliner. I'm going to do a nice winged eyeliner. And I'm just taking this again on a paintbrush. So I'm going to go over the top of this with a liquid eyeliner now and I'm just going to use my Rimmel Glam Eyes. And I find this helps to just get a little bit more of a sharp edge on the liner. I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So what I'm going to do now is just take a little bit of my Paintly I'm going to use this just to clean up underneath my liner. And we're going to go back in with that darkest colour from the palette, that one that's just kind of a off black. I'm just going to do a little bit of extra depth just on that outer. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of mascara now, and I'm just going to use the same mascara that I've been using recently, the Rimmel Extreme Black Volume. I like this one because it's really beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to clean up my skin and we're going to apply it our foundation. The Sculpt Foundation. This is by MAC. This has got like a satin finish to it, so it gives a really nice kind of natural look. It's got a full coverage to it though, so it's very flawless. It doesn't look heavy on the skin, and that's why I love it. And this is an NW20, so this one is a little bit lighter. I'm going to lay my skin's out at the moment, so I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to warm the face up a little bit and I'm going to use this product here, which is an Illamasqua product. This is Skin Base AU, which is um, the Skin Base formula, their foundation, but it's in a kind of bronzer shade. And I'm just going to use it on the same brush. I'm just going to pop this just on the back of the cheekbones. This is going to lightly sculpt the face as well. I'm going to come in afterwards and do some more contouring. So really good just kind of adding warmth to the face. Okay, I'm going to do some concealer now. And I'm going to go a little bit lighter than I normally do. Create a really nice highlight under the eyes. And I'm using a little bit more kind of warm tone, just to brighten up the eyes. take an Illamasqua blending brush one and with this and I'm just going to use my finger to blend the rest out just like that 
that smaller brush fade going around the eyes. And I'm just my fingers kind of really warms it up. You can use a brush if you want to, you can use a beauty blender if you want to, this is just how I like to do it. Okay, so we're going to pop a little bit of powder on now. And as I said in my previous video, I don't like to go too overboard with powder. I like to keep it as minimal as possible so I can keep that nice glow to my skin. So I'm going to use a little bit of my um, Pro Long Wear Press Powder. And I'm going to just powder under my eyes. Just because I don't want that to move around. Under my eyes. So I'm going to use a little bit of my Sleek Contouring Duo and my favourite contour brush, which is the MAC 136. I'm just going to pop a little bit of extra depth just on the back of my cheekbone. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of blush. I'm going to use my Coastal Scents 10 Blush Palette really really small amount. I don't like heavy blush anyway so just to give it a little bit of colour and a little bit of blush to the cheek. And stick. Okay now we're gonna highlight the face. And I'm just today gonna to use the shimmer from the sleek palette. This is actually a really nice highlighter. And I'm going in with my Mike It Co brush which is my favourite highlighter. Okay, so lips, I think I'm going to do a really bright pink. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm going to pop some lipstick on. And the lipstick I'm going to use is Candy Gum Yon from MAC, which is like neon pink. Off. I'm gonna just colour my mold and so there you have it guys that's the finished look I hope you like it as much as I do if you give this a try make sure to tag it on one of our social media platforms on Twitter and Instagram it's just born to turn heads and then obviously you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to see any more of our upcoming videos and um, so until next time bye <laughs>